everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Episode, Maruko becomes a big sister for a first grader. I'm home now. Ah, oh, welcome home. Oh, hey, Mom. Can you pull out my dress later on? I want to wear it to school tomorrow. Oh, why is that? <laughs> I'm going to meet my first grade sibling. What's that? You're meeting your first grade sibling? <sighs> so, Maruko is going to look after the first graders now. Mm. So I'm gonna look after them and be a big sister for them starting tomorrow. Then what kind of things are you gonna do for them? Um, there's nothing specific I have to do for them, but I guess when I see them in the hallway, then I should talk to them. And during break time, I'll have to play with them. Oh, that sounds like <laughs> a lot of fun. Teacher told us to take care of them like they are your own siblings that's going to the same school. That's right. It definitely makes you feel more safe going to the same school as your siblings. You can rely on them when you need them. That's right. Yep, I'm the one who had to go through all that because I'm your big sister. Uh, thank you for taking care of me. <laughs> Maruko seems to be aware of that. So what kind of kids are you going to look after, Maruko? Name of the boy is Jun Takahashi-kun. A girl is supposed to take care of a girl, but there are more boys in the first grade this year, so... That's good, since boys are so much more active. Besides, you might find them a little bit more innocent and cute. That might be true. Uh, I wonder what the boy is like. I wonder if Jun Kun is a quiet kid. I wouldn't like it if he was cheeky like Hiroki. I hope he's an honest kid and would tell me things like, I like you, big sister. And what if he tells me something like, I'm really happy that I have a big sister that looks just like Momoe-chan. <laughs> yeah, he probably wouldn't say things like that. I was planning on wearing a dress today, but my mom said just to wear my usual clothes. Is that right? But actually, that outfit you have on suits you more, Maruko-chan. But it doesn't really make me look like Momoe. <laughs> Ah, you're the one that lives on 3rd Street. What? How do you know where I live, big brother? Oh, really? We went to the same kindergarten. Very nice to meet you, Mayumi-chan. And my name is Tame Honami. I'm happy to meet you. It's very nice to meet you as well. <laughs> Jun-kun! Is Jun Takahashi-kun around here? If you're looking for Takashi-kun, he's in the infirmary. What's the matter? He's not feeling well? Well, I guess he has a stomachache. Oh, I see. I wonder if he's okay. Takahashi-kun, the next class is about to start, but do you think you can make it? Uh, yeah. So I wonder which is his bed. Oh my goodness! And the next day... I'm sorry, Junkun isn't here today. What? Today too? He gets a stomach ache quite often. Oh, okay. Is that so? Yeah, Junkun goes to the infirmary a lot. What? 
we have to go now. Oh, sorry to keep you. Good luck in your PE class. All right. <laughs> bye bye, big sisters. <laughs> I'm wondering if Junkun has a weak body or something. I came excited today, thinking that I was going to meet him. Mm. So, you weren't able to meet Junkun again today? Yeah. Don't worry, you'll get to meet him tomorrow. But apparently, a few first graders were telling me that Junkun goes to the infirmary quite often for some reason. Oh my, is that so? I wonder if he goes there because he doesn't want to study. Or maybe that's the way he ditches class. You haven't even met the boys, so don't start accusing him like that. But if he's really sick, then he should be missing school. And I think it's really weird that he shows up to school and he goes to the infirmary all the time, like a routine. Do you know, Maruko, even grown adults will sometimes get really nervous when they have to show up to their new jobs and they start to feel ill for some reason. Even the grown-ups feel like that? That's right. You see, Junkun is only in first grade, so it's not a big surprise that he gets stomach aches because of things that are happening. I wonder if that's what it is. I remember when Maruko became a first grader. You used to say things like, I don't want to go to school, I have a stomach ache. You remember that? What? I said that? You were probably worried about something back then. But your sister said, I'll be at school too, so you'll be all right. And that's why you were able to go to school. Well, maybe you can't be his real sister, Maruko, but perhaps you can be of some help to him one day. Oh, I didn't know that. That is so true. My role is to act as a big sister for Junkun. <laughs> Over here! Go! 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 Oh, the Shoji Kun and the guys! Shoji, here I go! Come on! Special move! Catch with my buttocks! Ouch, that hurts! My buttocks split in half! My buttocks split in half! <laughs> <laughs> what is that weird dance? Big Brother Hamachi taught me this one yesterday. Oh, and check this one out! He taught me this too! Here! Oh. <laughs> What's wrong? I felt like there was someone here just now, but... Huh? Maybe you just imagined it. Let's keep on playing. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I wonder if Junkun is playing in the schoolyard. Yeah, he wasn't in the classroom either. Sister Tame! Huh? Mayumi-chan. Hey, let's play together. Oh, uh... <laughs> Don't worry, just go and play with her. Hey, Mayumi-chan, do you happen to know where Junkun is? Uh, I wonder. Oh, he's over there. Huh? I'm happy to win. Hana Ichimon me. I don't like to lose. Hana Ichimon me. Junkun. Huh? You all right? Uh, I didn't mean to startle you. I'm Momoko Sakura, a third grader in class four. And I'm the big sister that will play with you, but did your teacher tell you about it? Oh, I'm so glad to hear because I tried to see you yesterday and the day before that too, Junkun. Oh, it's not like I'm getting upset at you, okay? Uh -huh. Are you okay with your stomach ache today? Then you should go play with everyone else. Ah, uh, I get it. You're too shy to ask to play with them. So Big Sister will ask them for you. <laughs> oh, hey, where are you going? I wonder what's wrong with that boy. Ah, Mara-chan, were you able to talk to Junkun? Yeah, I'm not sure if you could call that talking. What kind of boy is he like? Maybe he's just really shy. He went away quickly, so it's hard to tell. Oh, is that so? Hey, wait! Tama-chan, how did you get that? Oh, you mean this? Mayumi-chan made this for me. She has a matching one, too. Oh, really? It's made with the top of a milk bottle. It's really well made. <laughs> Isn't it really cute? It must be nice for Tama-chan to be able to get close to Mayumi-chan. Hi. <sighs> when we become the first grader, when we become I wonder if I could make one heart.
100 friends. We want to eat with 100 friends. Let's eat rice bowl on top of Mount Fuji. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Good. That was really well done, kids. Then let's all sing it one more time. This time, try to imagine the faces of your friends that you made in first grade when you're singing this song, okay, kids? Yes! Then let's start. Teacher! Yes? What is it? Looks like Takashi-kun has a stomach ache. When we become the first grader, when we become the first grader, <sighs> oh, wow. This is so boring. Oh, man. This is so boring. Hey, what are you muttering about to yourself? <sighs> Why do I have to run errands and go shopping when I'm clearly feeling so blue like this? Huh. Huh? It's that boy. What should I do? Should I go talk to him? But I don't want him to run away from me again. <laughs> huh? Jungkun, what's wrong? Is your stomach hurting again? <laughs> and the story continues. Really? So, Junkun, you moved here from Tokyo? Mm-hmm. I moved here during the spring break. Then I can understand how you can get lost still. I went to the bakery, but I couldn't figure out my way home after, so I got lost. Oh, so you were in the middle of running an errand? Then you should be getting home soon, or your mom will get worried. Mom's working, so she's not at home. What? Then you're all alone at your house? Mm-hmm. The house is a lot bigger than the one we used to live in. Oh, really? That must be nice. What's your house like? It's a condo. But I don't know any of my neighbors yet, so I'd rather be at my previous house. i better go home now. Oh, well, I'll come with you. Huh? You see, I don't want you to get lost again, so I'll... Is it okay? Yes, of course. I'm your big sister now, remember? Oh, thank you so much. Hey, Junkun, what do you like to eat for school lunch? Um, curry. Oh, that's the same with me. And what kind of subject do you like to study? Mathematics. Oh, yeah, that's so great that you like mathematics. I don't know. Uh... Oh, hey, Junkun. What is it? So you don't like to play with other kids or something? That's not really true, but I went to a different kindergarten and I don't know anything about the other kids, so... I don't think that other kids really know everything about each other either. Yeah, but I'm different from others who have been living here all their lives. Mm. I feel like sometimes I think it's better off if I'm not around here at all. Why is that? It's not true at all. When I think about that, my stomach starts to hurt really badly. Junkun. And so I go to the infirmary because I don't really want to stay in class. That's ditching, right? Uh, I can make it from here now. Bye-bye. Junkun. What's the matter? Why do you look so serious? Hey, sister. I made my decision. Huh? Starting tomorrow, my decision is to play with Junkun during break time and after school. I see. So you came to the conclusion that you should be Junkun's best friend instead of his classmates to help him, right? Mm. I feel terrible for him since he's home alone and at school as well. I'm not saying that it's bad for you to play with him or that it's a bad thing, but... But what is it? If he keeps on playing with only you, Maruko, he won't be able to make any friends from his own class. Do you understand? That's probably not good for him. Yeah, but... Maruko is a big sister for him, right? 
then think about what kind of things a big sister could do for him. Something a big sister could do for him. I can't come up with anything, no matter how hard I think. I see. That's really difficult. Jungkun, he's got it in his head that he's not really a part of anything here. And that's why he doesn't talk to anyone at all. I don't think that kids around him are thinking anything like that at all, but... I think so, too. All that boy has to do is just go up to them and say, let's play. Then he could make friends right away. But this boy is thinking way too much, man. If it's that easy for him to say, then it wouldn't be hard. That's right. He's not as simple-minded as you, Hamaji. Junkun is really delicate. You know that. Uh, then what do you think about us third graders playing together with the first graders, boo? What? Play together? So what you're saying is that if he can't ask by himself, then we'll ask for him. Is that what you're saying? That's exactly right, Boo. Wow, that's a great idea. But Taro, I thought you were just a guy that always said Boo Boo all the time. But I see a different side of you now, and I'm really impressed about this. Boo! Then I will ask my Yumi-chan about this, too. Right, and I'll ask Shoji about it. Why don't we ask our classmates about it, too? <laughs> <laughs> and the following day on Saturday... And now we're gonna start the can-kicking game with everyone that's here. Isn't it great that a lot of kids showed up for this? Oh, but I wonder if he's gonna be all right. Let me go over the rules. There's only one, and it's that if anyone goes outside the lot, they're out of bounds. Kicking the huh? can game. I'm so happy to play, Joe. <laughs> Big Brother, please calm down. Please listen carefully, okay? And line up here, please. I'm sorry about this. I will listen carefully, Joe. What an impressive boy he is. Yamada is the one that's getting looked after. <clears throat> then I'll be it for the first round. Are there any first graders here that want to kick the can first? Junkum, why don't you try it first? But I don't want to try. Then I'll kick it. <clears throat> here I go. Junkun, you have to hurry up and hide soon. Uh. If he keeps on playing with only you, Maruko, he won't be able to make any friends from his own class. Do you understand me? That's probably not good for him. <laughs> huh? I just found two girls from the first grade! <laughs> we got caught, didn't we? I'm wondering if someone will come rescue us. <sighs> Jinkun, now's the time! Go kick the can! <sighs> ah, oh, hurry up! What should I do? Should I go help them out? But who's gonna be happy being saved by a guy like me? Uh-oh, what should I do? What should I do? <laughs> Here we go! Oh, man! <laughs> hey, I did it! Rescue's a great success! Why, Kosugi, why did you get in the way like that? Huh? Why do I have to get scolded like that? Kosugi doesn't know why he's being blamed. Huh? <laughs> I found a first grader! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna find everyone this time for sure! It's no fun. There's no one that's going to save me anyway. Oh, I want to go home now. What should I do? I can go save him, but that's not going to accomplish anything either. Uh, this isn't good. I guess I should go. <gasps> Machi, go away now. <coughs> huh? yeah! ah! Hey, June, get out of here quick. Uh, Come this way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just found two boys from the first grade. And Brother Hamaji, you run way too fast for us. <laughs> you know my ability now, don't you guys? I'm sorry. It's because you came to rescue a worthless boy like me. Shoji-kun got caught. I'm really sorry about that. What are you talking about, man? 
It's a natural thing to help out a friend. Uh, do you consider me as your friend? You're a pretty strange one. We're playing together, so of course that makes us friends, doesn't it? Uh, mm. Jun-kun, I'm happy for you. Ah! I found Maruko! <laughs> <laughs> All right, this will be the last game. Here we go. <laughs> I'm it at the very last game of the day. Then a first grader should kick the can, boo. June, you should do it. Oh, uh, I should? Take it as far as you possibly can. And then let's go hide somewhere that we'll never get caught together, man. Yeah. Wow! That's just awesome, June. That's the furthest it's ever gone. Hmm. Let's get away quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, the can! I should go and find the can now. <sighs> A few days later... That can kicking game the other day was fun, wasn't it, Maruko? Playing it for the last game got me tired. Should we ask everyone if they want to play the game again? Yep, sounds good! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys! You can't play ball in the hallway like that! Uh, uh, huh? I'm, I'm very, very sorry. sorry. <laughs> Look at that. It seems like Jun-kun has gotten more cheerful. Hmm. It looks like he'll be just fine, even if I don't play with him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Those two have become good friends already. I wonder if they will turn out to be best friends like me and you, Tama-chan. Aw, oh, that would be really nice. <laughs> 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 Maruko feels a bit lonely, but seeing Junkun enjoying himself like that made her happy and made her feel like a big sister herself. <laughs>